going to ask you a question now. This is from this question is from deep in the heart of fandom. I thought you say Texas. No, the fan. <laughs> there are those Star Trek fans who have intimated a homosexual potential homosexual relationship between not us, <laughs> oh, no, no, between Captain Kirk and Mr. Spock portrayed by Leonard Nimoy. So much to the, the, the effect that uh, Gene Roddenberry, in the novelization of Star Trek The Motion Picture, puts an editor's note around the word that uh, Spock uses, uh -huh. which I think is Tyla or something like that. Tyla. What is it? Tyla. Which could mean lover or something like that. Why, this, my question is, why do you think some fans see this potential relationship between Kirk and Spock? Let's have the straight talk. Because they're gay. <laughs> Well, that's it. But that's believe the reason. me. Now you've heard it on this believe show. Me, I've had to educate Leonard. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. I wasn't. I'm saying this is from fans. I know. Well, fans. That's, but, but a beautiful girl is. I mean, that's fantastic, isn't it? I mean, I've always thought so. Yeah, but I'm just. This, but the fans. That, why do you think some fans saw it that way? Is well, it all is because, illusion. No, I mean, because a friendship between two men. Yeah is so uh, uh, strange to American audiences. Yeah. You know, I mean, uh, men and women in Europe, for example, walk arm in arm. They're close friends. They walk arm. Hey, what do you think about them? Well, I don't know. And they're holding you each other. You and I right? do that down Fifth Avenue. We're, we're going to hit every column in the world. Uh, well, <laughs> you know, a different it's true, though. midday show, you know. Yeah, the, mid, be, midlife show. So you think that's just part of their... <laughs> reading something into it. There's no, there's no evidence in the script or in your performances that supports that. Well, none in hand. None in hand. All right.